My, my uh, sister had a drug problem and both my parents are alcoholics. I had periods of uh, not treating my body like a temple as it should be treated. Um, I, I did things such as uh, alcohol abuse and drug use in my youth. Um, I've, uh, everyone's been there where they've been like, can I make it off that roof into that pool? Drugs made me think I could. I had made a choice. I was either going to be a, a drug user who didn't leave the house ever, except to go get drugs, and possibly to watch cartoons on a bigger television, or I was going to do something with my life, and I felt Southern California is not the place to let me do that. Drexel's policy really didn't have anything to do with my choice about drugs. It was a... Uh, it was it was more my family. I looked at my family and was like, do I want to turn out like those burnouts? I don't think I do. So I had to be like, Mom, I'm going to have to stop buying pot from you. It was a really emotional day in my life. My decision not to do drugs anymore was based purely off of productivity. I felt on drugs that I didn't do as much as I did off drugs. Um, I'm quite good at puzzles and such, but uh, I really got too high to want to do puzzles while I was uh, doing drugs. And I just I just like life more now. I do I do things. I don't sit at home and watch cartoons, even though I do. Everyone should sit at home and watch cartoons at some point, but I. I do that after I do things like uh, cage fighting, something I've recently gotten into, as well as uh, trying to become a licensed skydiver solo. I was able to do things uh, for drug usage, as I learned how to bake because of it. I, uh, I make a nice tiramisu, by the way. Um, I can roll a blunt in which a cigar is halved, emptied out, and re-rolled with marijuana inside. Um, due to the fact that drugs were a big part of my life, I, uh, I made a pretty wicked gravity bomb, so... Well, the physics aspect of the bomb have always interested me. I mean, you pull up and the smoke goes in, and it's, it's quite interesting. I don't know if you'd really understand it, but I'm trying to. I asked my physics teacher and I thought it was some kind of joke. You start with a bottle. And uh, you chop off the bottom of the bottle, take off the cap, fill a bucket with water, vital, and you take the bottle that you just chopped the bottom off of and you put it in there. You're going to take some tin foil and wrap it around to be a top where the, normally the cap would go. And you're going to make a little handle so you can pull it off. And you're just going to cut some holes in that. So the smoke can come into the chamber, if you will, of the bottle. Then after you do that, you're going to place whatever you're going to smoke on the top where the cap is, in the tin foil. You're going to submerge the bottle as far as you can. Then you're going to take a light, some type of ignition source, place it over the drugs or whatever you're smoking, lift up while you're flaming the drugs, and the smoke will actually be pulled by the centrifugal force of the bottle being lifted out of the water into the area where there's now air, no more water. And you'll do this until you get to nearly the top of the water. When the bottom gets to the top, and you will stop. You'll take the tin foil and you'll pick it up off the cap area and put it down. You'll place your mouth over the hole, push it down, and the smoke will actually be pushed into your lungs instead of actually having to inhale really hard, as with the traditional ball. I mean, it's it's good in a sense, but it'll kill you. When my belly starts a rumbling uh, and I'm jonesing for a treat, I close my eyes for a big surprise, the tender crisp bacon cheddar ranch. I love the tender crisp bacon cheddar ranch, the breasts they grow on trees, and streams of bacon ranch dressing flow right up to your knees. There's tumbleweeds of bacon, and cheddar paves the streets. Folks, don't front you, cause you got the juice. There's a train of ladies coming with a nice caboose. Never get in trouble, never need an excuse. That's the tender